What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from No Shelf Space and today we're going to be taking a look at Rolling Realms. But we're not taking a look at Rolling Realms that came out a few years ago, which I greatly enjoy and love. But instead, we're taking a look at Rolling Realms Redux, which is a brand new standalone game from Stonemeyer Games. It has 12 new realms, including games that I love like Flamecraft and Meadow, Dog Park, uh, Poker, Wonderlands War, and so much more. Let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. First thing we want to look at here is actually some really cool uh, artwork here on the side, which actually has, I think it's all of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no, it's not all of them, but there's 12 new things and it has stuff here on the side. I'm just trying to figure out what that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Isles of Cats. These are all, I think, all the released ones so far. Yeah, because there's like this My Little Scythe right over here, which um, I have, but is not part of this package. Anyway. Let's check this out. There's a lot going on. So first of all, there is a compendium included in this version of the game. And it actually has all the rules for every single card released so far. This is amazing. This will make teaching the game so, so easy. It's just like get the three cards out, find them in this book, and share the information. That is so, so awesome. It even has general realm rules, um, explanations, and stuff like that. And then it just gets into all of them in alphabetical order. This is awesome. I love this. All right. We do have new solo rules. We have the RRR Ball Tournament. This is the solo mode included with Rolling Realms Redux. Uh, there's brand new cards in here, which I'll give you a quick... Uh, I'll show you really quickly, but really excited about that. This is just the overview of the game. Just a real quick how to play. There's not a lot to Rolling Realms if you've played before. Here's the solo save sheet right there. All right, let's get into what's in here. First things first, this is actually really cool. This is a Rolling Realms travel box. And the reason why I think this is so awesome is because you can put in a couple uh, markers into here and cloths for wiping cards. You can put a set of cards for up to four players in there. So that would be three, six, nine, 12 cards, I believe. Um, oh no, there are way more cards because you use 12 cards in one round, but you're gonna play three rounds. You need 36 cards for four players. But you can put this all in there and then just pack this up and put this in your in your box. Now we're heading on vacation in just a couple days and we're 100% going to do this. I'm going to pack some of these new realms into this box to take with us on vacation because this is a lot easier to bring than this. So I'm really excited about this. Some people are not going to like this and they're going to say, why does this exist? It exists for my trip that I'm going on in like three days. So I'm actually really excited about that. All right, here we have solo cards. Now I don't play a lot of Rolling Realms solo, so I've chosen to just leave those sealed up you are going to get some brand new markers so there's six more markers dice again this is gonna be kind of loud so i apologize but let's open those so the base game dice and i'll show you those in a bit but the base game dice were green marbled and these ones are purple pink marbled so that's uh that's really cool that's all there is in there of course of course you get your uh wipes uh a baggie which maybe for the dice is what the bag's for but who knows and then the cards. Um, so you have a lot of cards, and of course you have cards for every single, um, every single different color on the back. Uh, so we have these. I'm gonna put these ones back because these are the ones I will sort all of my original cards with these ones. So we'll do that later. Now I do want to show you that this box is much deeper than the original box. So there's the original box, and if I were to hold up a card next to that, you'd see how that doesn't quite work out uh, as much as you would like. But look at this. This will store so many cards now. I love it. So I can just basically probably toss this out and just kind of move everything over into this box. But anyway, these here are some more of the solo. These are the, um, the what do you call it? The RRR ball tournament cards. So there you go. You got weeks one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got some the bots. Bot stars. There you go. So a whole bunch of stuff there for solo play. Again, I'm not so much worried about solo play, so those will go aside and go out of the game. All right, let's check out what new realms come here. Uh, and I'm going to actually maybe move my camera a bit, and I'm going to pull up a chair instead of standing, and I'm just going to sit. Here we go. All right, Atiwa, uh, use the number to either outline any matching terrain card and gain the benefit or circle up to that number of bats on the outline terrain cards. And if possible, mark three circled unmarked bats to gain a pumpkin or health. So there we go. I don't know much about this game. I've never played it. 
Dog Park I have played once. Uh, walk one dog at a time from left to right until complete. Use a number to move up to that number of steps rightward. Outlining, outline the, um, the symbols where you stop and gain the resource. This reminds me of actually um, Corinth. When you're moving the uh, merchant around Corinth, depending on where you stop, that's what you get, which is kind of fun. So that looks like it's interesting. We have Flamecraft. I love Flamecraft. Assign any number to enchant or write a number to gather. So if you've played uh, Flamecraft before, when you go to a shop, you can either gather all the resources there or you can enchant with a card, making the shop a little bit better for the next person. So that's that's really cool. I'm leaving these here so you can actually read them yourselves and you can pause as well if you want to. The Guild of Merchant Explorers. have no idea what this is. Um, absolutely no idea what this is. But it says use a number to mark hexes adjacent to um, uh, to to the middle city or already marked hexes and gain the benefit. Like I said, there's the 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 compendium will tell you all about these. Legacy of You. I don't play solo games, but I would love to play Legacy of You. Use the number to fill in any box on the river and gain the resources. Uh, the two is a pre-filled sum. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, meadow, love this. Uh, write numbers one through four on the fence posts and cross off a symbol that many spaces away and mark a corresponding card in the meadow, bottom to top, without skipping. Use this numbers five to six to mark a discovery. Okay, interesting. So these ones I think are a little bit more complicated than the original ones. So Planet Unknown, uh, either assign a unique number to a shape and gain the resource and draw the shape or draw a shape using its assigned number. Oh, interesting. And then you flip and rotate things to fit them in there. That's kind of cool. Okay. Poker. This is going old school here, folks. Either write a number on a matching card in the flop and gain the resource. That's right here. Or deal. Use a rolled number to note both dice as rolled to create a hand. Oh. 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 Use any number to outline an unplayed hand. Combine it with the existing flop to gain any matching benefits. Oh, so you could like put the matching numbers in there. And then whenever you add numbers to the flop, you can gain stuff based on what you get. That's cool. That's so cool. All right, that's awesome. Obviously to get full marks here, you'd have to get four of a kind full house and a five card straight. Could be hard. Rock, paper, scissors. Nice. Draw the icon uh, for the use number in any slot to the left and gain the benefit. Then draw the icon of the other rolled die in any slot on the right. And that die remains available. So in rolling rounds, usually you have to put one die in each round. But this one, you write the one. And then whatever the other one is, you put it in there. Um, score one, two, three, four, five, six stars for one, three, five, seven, eight, nine different matches. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. Rock defeats scissors, scissors defeats paper, paper defeats rock. That's interesting. Spaceship. No idea what this is. Write a number in the top. Write a number in the top box of the current set, then also bring down the previous number and gain benefits. Oh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Tidal Blades. Oh, I love the art. A lot of these cards don't have this, but I love that little art on there. Mark a number on the monster and gain the benefit. Six counts as any number. Trophies lets you mark one step to the progress on the champion's track. When all numbers on the monster are marked, gain the kill bonus. Oh, and then when you kill it, so you get two trophies. And as you get more trophies, you can earn potentially more stars. Interesting. Wonderland's War, right? A number in any battleground circle space and gain the resources. At the end of the battle turn... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Fill the sum of the rolled dice. Check the battle outcome and score. Interesting. Okay. And then, of course, you get these cards here for marking the numbers down each round and then your scores for a total. These are the same as the original game, but you just get uh, more of them because this is a standalone game. So I have this color of uh, these player cards in the base game, uh, but we'll have extras. All right. One thing I want to show right now, oops, sorry about that. One thing I want to show right now is that you can just, so I'm going to take this and open it up now. And um, lots more rule books. I have more markers in here, cloths. I played this one a lot. 
Uh, but look at that. We got these the green marbled dice versus the purple marbled dice in the new one. So it's nice to have all that all those dice. But then we have all these cards, and I can just mix these in. I haven't even touched these ones. I probably never played with the yellow player. But we got all of these cards that we can now just mix in. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so we got these cards, and I've got all of these cards. And what I will do is I will take them all based on the, their backs and mix them with the new ones and put them all in the new box, which I think is really cool. But guys, thank you so much for watching this unboxing and overview of Rolling Realms Redux. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like and uh, subscribe to check out more great content that I'll be rolling. I just realized I have two fives and two ones. That was accidental. Until next time, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll chat again real soon. Goodbye.